Domestic violence is a pattern of abusive behavior in any relationship that is used by one partner to gain or maintain control over another intimate partner. There are different types of domestic violence such as emotional abuse, sexual abuse, financial abuse, and physical abuse. Emotional abuse involves the destruction of the victim's self-worth and is brought about by persistent insults, humiliation, or criticism. It appears to be quite common in unhealthy relationships. Prevalence rates were high, averaging around 80%, 40% of women, and 32% of men reported expressive aggression, and 41% of women, and 43% of men reported coercive control. Okay, some examples of emotional abuse include name calling, derogatory pet names, character assassination, yelling, patronizing, public embarrassment, dismissiveness, joking, sarcasm, and more. Some impacts of emotional abuse include feeling confusion, hopelessness, unable to trust, feeling unmotivated or tired, and feeling scared and worried. Financial abuse is perhaps the least obvious form of abuse. Financial abuse might take on many forms, such as a husband preventing his wife from obtaining an education or a job outside the home. Financial abuse is simply another form of control, even though it is usually less obvious than physical or sexual abuse. Research indicates that financial abuse occurs in 99% of violence cases. Surveys of survivors reflect that concerns over their ability to provide financially for themselves and their children was one of the top reasons for staying in or returning to an abusive relationship. Without resources of their own, victims are often unable to care for themselves, find employment and housing, or save for the future. Those who manage to leave their abusers can find themselves debt-ridden, lacking necessary skills, and even at risk for homelessness. Physical abuse is the most recognizable form of domestic violence. It involves the use of force against the victim, causing injury, such as a punch or a kick, stabbing, shooting, choking, slapping, forcing you to use drugs, etc. On average, every five days, a woman in Canada is killed by their partner or former partner. More than half, 50% of all victims of police reported domestic violence sustained an injury. The effects of physical abuse on the victim can be cuts, bruises, sprains, shortness of breath, and specific to women, it can be menstrual cycle and fertility issues. Sexual abuse is a common form of domestic violence. It includes not only sexual assault and rape, but also harassment, such as unwelcoming touching and other demeaning behaviors. At least one in six men have been sexually abused or assaulted. 16% of males have been sexually abused by the age of 18. Males who have been sexually abused or assaulted are less likely to report the incident rather than females. This is an example of a young boy getting sexually harassed by an older woman. Hey dude, see that girl over there? I'm like totally into her. Should I? Yeah? Okay. Children exposed to the aggressive model were more likely to imitate than those who did not witness aggressive adult behavior. This is the cycle of violence. Stage 1, the tension building stage. As the tension builds up with any stress or conflict, the victim rationalizes minor violent outbursts. Stage 2, the abusive incident or acute battering phase. One or more serious assaults occur, triggered by an event that is usually unpredictable. Stage 3 is the honeymoon phase, and this is where the abuser becomes remorseful and apologetic.
Because you have home, I think it's really important that you tell us so that we can help you and your son. Well, um, it's it's more difficult than you than you think. It's um, I'm fine. Like he's not abusive. We're we're a happy couple. I know it might be hard to come forward, but I promise you, if we get the police involved, we can really take care of you. But I'm, I'm scared. Like, what if he finds out I said something? It's okay. The second that you say something, the police are gonna come and they're gonna um, apprehend him. So he won't be a concern to you or your son. And you didn't know what happened. Did you tell him anything? Nothing. Yeah, she she didn't know anything. I promise. I promise. We're gonna be sure about that. I, I swear, it's it's fine. I didn't say anything. Let's talk about this at home. It's, it's You're under yeah. arrest. Hands yeah. behind your back. You gotta go down to the station. I'll get you back for this. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Where's dad going? He's He's gonna be fine, okay? We're, we're better off without him, I promise you. <laughs> we're gonna be okay. Okay, Mom, I love you. I love you. Domestic violence is something to be taken very seriously. It happens to a lot of women and men every day in their lives. This can affect the children that they have in their homes. The moral quality of any society is measured not by how it treats the powerful, but how it respects the claims of the powerless. If you think you or somebody you might know has experienced domestic violence, watch out for signs like fear, feeling fear in your relationship, intimidation, unhappiness, lack of safety, past incident, incidents of abusive behavior, aggression, and more. So for help, call Canada's 24-hour abuse helpline. The number is 416-533-8538.